what's up and welcome back to artistic cognos so basically we're starting a channel and we're going to be breeding hognos snakes we picked up our first one recently and we plan to breed him soon and my mom's planning on uh, getting a pair that we plan to breed next year so yeah so basically we're going to breed hognos snakes so that's why our channel is artistic hognos so now I'm going to show you around about my little reptile room, which is my room. So, yeah. Well, this is our little leopard gecko to start. Um, He lives in there, a 40-gallon tank. So, yeah. There is a little bit too much stuff in there, but he still likes to explore it. So, I think he's good. So, yeah. My mom put tinfoil to keep the cats from getting on. So, he's really pretty, and he is a little fat. Like, you can see how fat he is. Compare him to my finger. Or my thumb. He's pretty fat. So, yeah. Here he is. Really pretty. He has a bit of duck shed. There's my cat living her life. On her heated blanket. There's a heat map under that little thing. Right there. Yep. Sorry, I didn't mean to scare you, Bolt. Yes, I just said her name's Bolt. So, he's going to go back to his tank. If you have any name suggestions for him, we're open to suggestions. We've had we've had him for a while, but we never got a name for him. Go on. It's okay. You can go. So, it's going to take a second. Oh, you scratched me, buddy. So, this is our little rack. It has two 40 gallon tanks. And down here, this is our snake peanut. He's a carpet python. Oh, ooh, so, he's a carpet python. He's really pretty. And, beep, boop. His head's hard to see, but it's right over there. So, yeah. If you can see the head, then he's right there. We've had him for a bit. He was my second snake I ever got. First one was a Samboa. And he lived in a 20. So, yeah. So. I fed him yesterday. I normally would get him out and hold him, but he got fed. So, yeah. It's a little snake. This is Monkey. She's the cat who keeps on trying to jump on top of the leopard gecko tank. She's so sweet. So, yeah. And lastly, we have our brand new hognose that we picked up a week or two ago. And we just fed him today. And here he is. He's up here. We got him from Base Reptiles. And... They plan to breed him to another one of the same kind. Here's his shed that he shed recently. It's really pretty. It has a nose. And here he is. I don't want to stress him out. But he's really pretty. I've held him enough today. And he has like a, a panda head stamp. Like you can see a nose, a mouth, and two eyes. I'm going to put you back. I don't want to smush you. At least his little height is light, so it won't smush him. So, goodbye, buddy. He's pretty hissy sometimes, but today he's been calm, oddly. So, yeah. Bye, buddy. Good night. Well, good morning, because it's time for you to wake up, since you're kind of nocturnal. Making sure I don't put the water on my sheet. So, yeah. That's basically are my little reptile room which is my room like i just said already in the beginning so leopard gecko peanut and don't have a name so if you have a name for him then you can put down in comments so next year we're gonna we're gonna have baby hog no snakes and they're gonna be really pretty and we got a new rack recently and it's gonna go somewhere in this crowded room somewhere we'll figure it out so yeah, and there's nothing in there. That's just a tank for when our hognose gets older. So, bye.